It's Saturday, February 20th, 2021. Late video this evening. I'm just uh, getting ready to head out to Los Angeles very early in the morning. I've got some uh, meetings uh, there tomorrow morning uh, for the next couple days, actually. While I'm there, uh, I'm going to shoot as much video as I possibly can. I'm bringing Sid along with me. And uh, we're going to share with you what's happening here uh, in Southern California, what's happening in Los Angeles as far as what's ha happening with uh, the homeless crisis and the uh, epidemic of uh, homelessness that is taking place in L.A. County, the second biggest city uh, in America. And uh, we're sitting here in California, the fifth largest economy in the world. And as I was just uh, putting some things together for tomorrow, I was uh, looking at, at, at some articles, and, and one, of the, uh, one of them was on the hedge today, and it's talking, it's titled, How Much uh, Money Every State Is Going to Get With This Stimulus Package. Uh, $350 billion will go to states and local governments. Imagine how much theft uh, and how much waste is about to take place with this $1.9 trillion of stimulus. And with this $1.9 trillion of stimulus, you, you might get $1,600 if you qualified. Uh, again, where's the money coming from? How much more debt creation can America handle before it no longer can handle any of this? California, where I'm coming to you right now, will get $26.3 billion. Local governments here in California will get $14.9 billion. New York State will get $12.7 billion, while uh, New York's local governments will receive $10.6 billion. Illinois will get $7.5 billion. Puerto Rico will get $2.5 billion. Uh, we break it down to some of the local governments, and this is just some. Remember, $350 billion will be going to, to state and local governments. Uh, the city of Los Angeles, where I will be tomorrow morning, will receive two, $2 billion. San Francisco will get $601 billion, or excuse me, $601 million. And New York City will get $5.6 billion. And the list goes on and on and on. If you get a chance, read it, check it out. But um, when I'm in Los Angeles tomorrow, um, it's going to look like something out of a movie, and I, I really hope that you tune in uh, over, over the next few days um, and watch these videos uh, because I'm going to show you what's really happening in the real world. While people on the television, while, while people you may know tell you everything is okay, nothing to see here, nothing to worry about, I'm going to show you some things tomorrow that I think are going to make you worry, uh, that I think you're going to be concerned about, that, the, that these problems are much worse than we're being told. People are being forgotten about. People are being left to die on sidewalks in city streets. Uh, we've we've got serious serious trouble, and when you when you think about the safety, uh, uh, the 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 uh, the hygiene, uh, what is taking place uh, in these cities, um, it is very very dangerous. Um, what 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 could what could come out of these cities if we do not clean them up? Having people just going to the bathroom on sidewalks and streets, uh, drugs and needles laying around all sorts of diseases. I mean, this is very, very dangerous for the entire uh, society, not just a city or a state, but, you know, bad things can come out of, uh, out of, out of cities like Los Angeles, plagues. And uh, if we don't do something about it soon, uh, we're going to have um, some real, real serious trouble. But uh, uh, no matter what the case may be, whether, you know, it, it's a um, uh, mental disorders, um, whether it's drugs or it's bad luck or what, whatever it might be. Uh, I just don't think that uh, it's safe for anyone. I, I, I don't think that uh, the, the sanitary situations that we're seeing, I don't think that that's safe for any, any city or any state. And, and again, this is how disease and plagues develop in, in, in areas like this. And, um, but again, this $350 billion going to uh, states and, and local uh, municipalities, uh, how much 
of this money is actually going to be put to work? How much of it is really going to go and help people on the streets? How much is it really going to help to clean up the trash, uh, the infrastructure, or how much of it is just going to be stolen and wasted? Uh, so um, I'll be I'll be out there for the next couple days and uh, look when the stimulus package is passed out and, and the money goes out to these big cities I'm gonna go back and shoot more video and we'll see uh, if it's had any effect But I can tell you right now with the trillions and trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars that have been pumped into this economy uh, with all the quantitative easing with the bailouts with all the previous stimulus You know what? Things are getting worse they're getting worse. How come we're not seeing anything for our money? We're seeing more problems. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are broke and we are getting broker. The hedge today, AccuWeather, uh, AccuWeather expects $50 billion in economic damage after winter storms pound U United States. So um, more stimulus, and now uh, these winter storms are going to cost us $50 billion. And $50 billion can become $100 billion really, really quickly. Um, you know, how, how much longer can America sustain all of this debt? All of this debt, this debt uh, the deficits, it's all un, uh, unsustainable. And now we're dealing uh, with many states with, uh, this, with these winter storms. And it is more debt on top of the debt. And uh, at some point, where's the breaking point where we just no longer can afford the debt? Uh, I guess as long as we can continue to uh, print money out of thin air and as long as that continues to hold off the inevitable, we'll keep doing it until it no longer does. And that day, that day of reckoning, that day of reality, ladies and gentlemen, is getting much closer. Next up. Great Depression, also on the hedge today. And this was a really, really good article, and, and I'm just going to paraphrase through it here this evening for you. The central bankers have big trouble. Their policy of giving trillions in free money for financiers and speculators is suffering from diminishing returns. Once $100 billion had a significant effect on financial markets, now $1 trillion no longer has any effect at all. Isn't that the truth? Uh, just take a good look at the trillions and trillions of dollars that have been pumped into this economy, into the, in, into the stock market, which it is helping um, these financial assets. It's, it's helping the stock market right now. But at some point, it is going to be its own worst enemy. The, the uh, article continues. And so now the only dose that causes the patient's eyelids to flicker briefly is $3 trillion. No, wait. Wait a minute. Make that $5 trillion. Nope, not enough. Make it $10 trillion. Yikes, still not enough. Pump in $20 trillion. Though few seem aware of what's happening, we are teetering on a cliff's edge. Endless wealth can be yours only if you join the speculative extremes racing over the cliff. Maybe the herd of speculators will all grow imaginary wings once they all free fall. That's no more insane, ladies and gentlemen, than counting on speculative asset bubbles to magically create real enterprises and jobs. This madness is now global so next up, global depression. You know, if you look at the stock market right now, you would think that this is the greatest economy the world has ever seen, but it is not. It's all an illusion. It's a lie. It's all man-made. It's all juiced. And you can thank all this quantitative easing. I was uh, watching a interview with Harry Dent uh, this morning, and uh, he made a good point, a couple good points. GDP. 1.6% since 2009. That's the average GDP right here in America over the last uh, uh, 12 years. 1.9%. Where's the growth, ladies and gentlemen? Where is the recovery? We haven't even recovered from 2008. So we're not seeing real recovery. What we're seeing is just a, a papering over of the problem 
with all this juicing of the markets, with all this quantitative easing, we are not getting our money's worth, ladies and gentlemen. Things are getting worse with all of the trillions of dollars of juicing. Things are getting worse. $520 trillion in financial assets, yet people are telling you that there's no bubble. When this bubble bursts, uh, those financial assets are going to be cut in half, if not more. Look for a crash. Central banks at this point, when things begin crashing again, will print more money. Uh, they will, they, their, their way out of a crash again is to print and they won't be able to print enough money this time. You know, everybody goes, it's different this time. It's different this time. Yeah, it's different this time. This time, uh, it's not going to work. All the money printing, all the juicing is not going to work. You know, when you have 0% interest rates and you are devaluing your currency daily, it's not going to work this time, ladies and gentlemen. And we're seeing that right now. Trillions, a trillion's nothing today. They talk about a trillion like it's $100. Trillions upon trillions. And this economy is on life support. It is barely alive. It's barely breathing. This isn't going to be a bad recession, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a catastrophic depression. And it's going to be one of the worst periods, I believe, in the history of America. Because remember, what happens economically and financially here in America is going to pour over into the streets of America. And we're going to see real, real problems uh, socially here in America. So I'm going to wrap it up right here this evening. As I said earlier, I have some meetings in Los Angeles tomorrow morning. So as soon as I'm done with that, uh, we will get out on the streets and start filming some video to show you what's uh, happening in the real world. But let me leave you with this. We're watching a lot of magic tricks, a, a lot of illusion right now in these markets and, and even in cryptos. Remember, you cannot fight reality by printing money. It's not going to work. It hasn't worked. It's not working right now. It is holding off the ine inevitable, no doubt. But the day of reckoning is coming. And I see so many people at that poker table doubling down. They don't see the dangers. They're unaware of it. Uh, they believe there, there will be no corrections. There'll be no collapse. If, if anything like that happens, the Fed will just jump in and save everybody. These markets are immune from any type of crisis and they are sadly mistaken. There's just too much greed and this euphoria that everybody is making money and they, they are making money right now. And you can double down and double down and double down. But sooner or later, the house wins. People are gambling their retirements. They're gambling their futures. They're gambling everything that they have. Uh, I've seen people pulling mortgage, second mortgages out of their homes to buy Bitcoin at twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. I hope everything goes well. I hope it continues to go up. I hope it goes up forever for everybody. Question is, what happens if it doesn't? And you know what? It isn't going to go up forever because as Harry Dent said, you can double down, double down, double down, double down. But at some point you lose. And that's a hundred percent guarantee. But what's going to happen to all these people who couldn't step away from the, t the poker table, uh, who could not control their greed and their addiction to this gambling. Uh, this is not investing. This is gambling. What is going to happen to these people? when they get wiped out. Big trouble coming to America, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very big trouble. And there's a lot of what ifs out there. We've never been here before, but we are going to a place that is going to be irreversible. And most people are never going to come back from it. God bless you all. Please share this video with everyone you know and don't know. Um, and uh, we'll see what happens. God bless.